Hello. Welcome to this introduction to Diva. Diva is one of the new players from Spinetics, and this video will show you how to use the Diva interface to quickly get content onto your screen. So to start, I have a new tab open here in my web browser, and I'm going to browse to the address, the IP address of my Diva player. If you don't know the IP address of your Diva player, you can quickly press and release the blue button on the Diva player itself and it will show the IP address on the display that the Diva player is hooked up to. Once you get the IP address, type it in and press enter in your web browser. And this will take you to the login page for the Diva interface. If this is the first time that you're logging into it, the username will be admin and the password will be admin. Click log me in and that will take you to the home page of the Diva interface. Here we have three panels in the center of the page. The first one is the create panel in the top left. The second one is the schedule panel up here in the top right. And the third one is a screenshot of what is currently playing on your Diva player. Now there's two steps to getting content on the screen. The first one is create and the second one is schedule. So I'm going to click on the create panel. And when you're in the home of the create panel, you'll see all of the media playlists and playouts that you currently have on your Diva player. Uh, this is a brand new Diva player, so I haven't put anything in there yet. So I'm going to open up uh, a Windows Explorer window and browse through Windows to the location that my video files are in. And I've selected two here already, so I can just click and drag them uh, into the Diva interface on my web browser. Once I release the mouse button, it's going to start to upload those files to my Diva player. And while those two are going, I also have an image that I want to bring in. So I'll do the same thing, drag and drop it into the tab in my web browser that my Diva interface is in. Once this progress bar fills up, I should have three icons show up. Two for my videos uh, and one for my image. And yep, there we go. So there are my two video files, and here's my image file. So the next step is I'm going to create a new playout. And a playout is a look and feel. Uh, these have been pre-made by Spinetics using some of the apps on the Diva player, uh, like clocks, RSS feeds, QR codes, things like that. Um, so you can browse through the pre-made playouts that Spinetics has made, choose the one that you like. I'm going to choose the clock and RSS. Once that loads, you'll see a preview of your playout here in the left side and all of the components of your playout. Uh, so this one has a background component, a media component, and an RSS component. So I'm going to open up the background component and I'm going to take my desert JPEG that I just added and drag it up into the background location. So now that desert JPEG is my background. Next, I'm going to go to the media component and I'm going to drag up one of my video files up to where it says drag and drop. Now this video file is a part of my media component. By default, you can only put one image or one video in your media component. However, if you check mark create set on the right side, you can drag up additional videos and images and they will play in sequential order. So this will allow you to put multiple videos and images uh, in your media component and play them sequentially. Uh, then you can set a transition. I'll set it to crossfade and a one second crossfade is fine. Now I'm going to go to the RSS component and in the data source text box I'm going to go grab an RSS feed. So I already have uh, the page open for the CNN RSS addresses. So I'm going to take the top stories one and copy the link address and then paste it in. Okay, there we go. So now I've got all my components configured. Once I'm done, I can click save. Once I click save, it'll automatically take me to the second step, which is the schedule panel. So when this page loads, we'll see a calendar on the left side here. 
as well as all of the media that I currently have on my Diva player, as well as playouts down here at the bottom. You can filter by type, uh, so I'll choose all. And the quickest way to get content on the screen, if you just want this playout to play indefinitely uh, with no schedule in mind, is to click and drag your playout over where you see drag and drop on the right side and the word default. Now the default will take precedence when there is nothing scheduled in your schedule. So our schedule currently is blank, um, which means that the Diva player, since it doesn't see anything scheduled, will revert to whatever is in the default. So in this case, it's our playout. If you want, you can click and drag up playlists, videos, or images up and schedule them individually. Um, and there'll be a link in the description uh, that specifically talks about how to schedule within the Diva interface. But now we've set up our default content. I'll click Apply. And now the Diva player will now uh, play what is scheduled to play, in this case, the default. So if I go back to the home page and look at our snapshot at the bottom, we can see our playout now playing this video, the RSS address, the clock, and our desert background. So that's how you can get content quickly up on your screen using the Diva interface. Uh, the links below will have some specific functionalities of the Diva interface. Uh, and thank you for watching this video.